Hello, I am Antonio Martins. I live in Sao Paulo, Brazil, where I am a journalist. I work mainly for alternative media and I am also an activist. I have been part of Attack Brazil and part of the World Social Forum creating, creation since the year 2000. We are entering a very difficult and a very grave situation. Uh, the pandemic in Europe and in other parts of the world is just now declining, but in Brazil it's enhancing, it's becoming more and more mortal. Yesterday, the 1st of March, we had the biggest index of deaths per million in the world of the pandemic is collapsing the Brazilian health system in many cities and many capitals of the country. The, the emergence units, the intense care units are overcrowded. People are dying in their homes. People are dying also in some hospitals because there is not oxygen. There is a lack of oxygen in these hospitals. So, possibly, when you hear this interview, we'll be in an even darker situation. It is very difficult what you, we are facing. And the main problem is that we don't have vaccines. Less than 2% of the population has been vaccinated because of the negligence of the government, the Bolsonaro ultra-right ultra government, but also because there are not vaccines available in all over the world, especially in the countries of the global south. I think we have to have equality, commons, the public health, the systems of public health, which have been so much depredated by neoliberalism, are showing their importance. So we need uh, to live in a world where wealth is not private wealth, but wealth is health, is education, is housing, is accepting people from all over the world, accepting immigrants, is promoting culture, is promoting the idea of the public goods. And I think that in a world where so many people are being unemployed, we have to have a universal income, a universal income which will share with each inhabitant of the earth a part of the wealth produced by all of us. We cannot live in a world where technology means hell, where technology means unemployment, where technology means poverty. We have to share this knowledge, this science, this technology that are able to create a better and a fire, fairer world. Brazil was, 20 years ago, the first country which offered to any people with HIV the, freely the medicines that permit to live with HIV. We were the first country to do that because the government acknowledged that health is a public, a common good and a right. And it demercantilized the access to the medicines. It broke the patents in order to do that. Because of we have an extremely right government now, Brazil is sabotaging in the W, uh, w World. Uh, Brazil is sabotation. 
at the World Commerce Organization, the efforts to broke or to waive to 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 get a waiver on the patents. We have to struggle here, and we are very satisfied that there are people all over the world struggling for the same objective. What we, we would like to have from you, you is the same struggle which we hope we are able to do.